Hello, my name is Marissa Velasquez and I am a tutor at Desert View Middle School. Today I'm going to be talking about energy, the two types of energy, which are potential and kinetic energy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get Today into it. Today we're going to talk about kinetic and potential energy. Ever wonder what is energy? Energy is defined in science as the ability to do work. There are two types of energy, potential and kinetic. Let's talk about potential energy. Potential energy is stored energy from an object. Instead, coming from motion, it can come from its position relative to others, internal stress, electric charge, or its condition. Here are some examples of potential energy. A raised weight, water that is behind a dam, a car that is parked up on top of the hill, a snowpack, a potential avalanche, a yo-yo before it's released, river water at the top of a waterfall, a book on a table before it falls, a child at the top of the slide, and ripe fruit before it falls. All energy in the universe can be categorized as either potential energy or kinetic energy. Potential energy is the energy associated with position, like a ball held up in the air. When you let go of that ball and let it fall, the potential energy converts into kinetic energy, or energy associated with motion. So some examples of kinetic energy include cycling, a roller coaster, skateboarding, a meteor shower, flying an airplane, or a moving car. So to put together, we know that potential energy is energy that is stored within an object, while kinetic energy is energy that is in motion. The connection between the two is that potential energy transforms into kinetic energy. You can always head to tutor.com. The username is your ID number. Thank you for watching. I hope you got a basic overview of what potential and kinetic energy is.